the next biomolecule is ATP that is adenosine triphosphate and it is a very important molecule because this is the energy currency of all living organisms. It is actually a slightly modified version of a typical nucleotide. In nucleotides, we said there is a pentose sugar. So here also there is a pentose sugar and that pentose sugar is ribose, like in case of RNA. So it is same ribose sugar. Second thing, there is a nitrogen base and the nitrogen base is adenine. In case of nucleotides, there is only one phosphate. Here, there are three phosphates attached. This is the difference. So there are three phosphates which are attached. So if we make the structure of ATP, let us draw this pentose sugar, which is a ribose sugar. And if we are drawing a ribose sugar, we know at carbon number two and three, both there are functional groups. So here also there is H and OH, here also H and OH. This is carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4 and the fifth carbon is here. Carbon number 1 is attached to the nitrogen base. In this case it is going to be adenine. So here adenine is attached that is the nitrogen base. We don't have any variation here because we are talking about the molecule which has adenine as a nitrogenous base. Attached to the fifth carbon are three phosphates. We draw them like this. This is the first phosphate. This is the first bond. The second bond, again a phosphate. And the third bond, again a phosphate. As you can see the difference in the way we have drawn these bonds indicates that the third and the second bond are going to give us energy whenever they are broken. When the third bond is broken, the energy which is released is 8.15 kilocalories per mole. And in case if second bond is broken, then the energy released is 6.5 kilocalories per mole. More. Now, in case of the first bond, which is never broken, we draw it as a straight. It does possess some energy, but it never gets broken to release that energy. So when we draw uh, any reaction where ATP is used, we normally take ATP to ADP. So how does this conversion take place? ATP breaks to form or dissociates or hydrolyzes to form ADP. There are two things which are released. Inorganic phosphate is released and energy is given out. ADP changes into ATP. Here inorganic phosphate is taken and some energy would be required. So this energy is going to come from some or the other form. It can be solar energy getting converted into this chemical energy or any other form. So this is how this ATP works and this is the simple structure. Three things, ribose sugar, adenine nitrogen base and three phosphates. Let us talk about two scientists who have a very significant contribution in this uh, ATP molecule. The first one is Lohman, L-O-H-M-A-N-N, -N, who actually discovered the molecule, discovered ATP. But another scientist, his name was Lipman, actually gave the energy possessing property of ATP. So he was the one who gave the energy possessing property of ATP and that is why Lipman is known as, he is known as father of ATP cycle. So on the names of these two scientists many times questions have been asked. 
what we have to remember are these two values in some books there is uh, an older value given as 7 point something here a kilocalorie this is the latest uh, value which is uh, which has been proven that this much energy is released so we'll have to stick to this value and when second bond is broken there is slightly less energy which is given out third bond is never broken to release that energy but the bond does possess some energy so this is our energy currency of the cell that is ATP